good everyone my name is graphics in this video we want to reproduce the figure that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen in isometric production now when you hear the word isometric production what should come to your mind should be the isometric axis which involves the um, x and y and z axis which will have it to be this way we have this the x right the y right and the z axis these are all we have here is that the key now if you look at this closely I should zoom this up a little bit. Right. So now if you look at from this point to this point, the entire length here is what? Is 70. So from here I'm going to measure 70. So from zero right to 7 is 70 you can see that and from this point to this point here is 45 so from here i'll measure 45 so from 0 to 45 so the entire height here if you add from here to here is 6 6 plus 11 is uh, 17 17 plus 5 right that will give me 22 22 plus 12 that will give me 34 so the entire height is what is 34 so I'll take my meter rule and I'm going to measure 34 from here from 0 right I measure 34 which 30 that is 0 to 3 30 34 is here you can see that and I'll make them to form a box so placing my instruments at this point here I have this I'll come here also I have this and I'll close it up. Paint line, drain out a box. So from this box, I'm going to carve out what I want to carve out. You see that? So this is the box. Now we want to cover out our image. So I can make this to be bigger if I want to. So let's cover the image out. Now, first of all, let's get the center of this figure here. From here to here, we say it is um, 70. From here to here, 70. Half of it will be what? 35. So let me take half of it, which is 35. So this is 35 here. From 0 to 3.5 is 35 millimeter right and i'm going to take it up don't forget i'm always making use of my um, t square so i'll take it up you can see that now the distance from here to here is 20 so i'm going to measure 20 from here so measure this is zero my reference point to the right is 10 to the left is 10 Everything there making what making 20. So I'll just take in it. You can see that now I'm going to take this side upward a little bit. When my arrow is pointing, I'll take it up small. Here also, I'll take it up small. And what is the height from here to here? That is six. So I'm going to measure six upward. So from zero, this is six here, right? 
and I'm going to click it to touch the other end here. This will move here to touch here, then here will touch here, right? And from here to here is from here to here. You can see that, and this will be going in. Now, bring it out and bring this out. You can see that. After I've done that, the thickness from here to here is from here to here, and that is seven. So I am going to measure seven from zero. This is five, six, seven here, right? And I can thicken it just to save time. Right? Then the next thing is, I'll just draw my line from that point to go in this way. From here, faint line. Then I can easily tick in this aspect here. Since it is taken from here to here, so I'll take in here. And also here too. And also here too. Alright. Now the next thing that we should be doing here is here. So from the center here now, from here to here is 24. So I'm going to measure 12 to the left, to the right, and 12 to the left. Let's do that first. So from zero I'll measure twelve here to the right and here from zero is ten eleven twelve here to the left. Can you see that? And I will use my set square this way and I'll move it behind which I can tick in if I want to. So from here I'll tick in it to the back. And from here also, I'll tick in to the back. You can see that. Now the next thing is from here to here, which is from here to here. And also from here to here, which is from here to here, is given to be 8. Apiece. So I'll come here. I'll measure 8 from here. This is 0. This is 8 here. Right? This is 0 also again. Is it here? Can you see that? And I'm going to close it up from here. This is it. From here also, this is it. You can see that. And I can easily take in here too. And here also. And I'll come here too, take in here too. And here so you can see that then I can bring it down from this point here is coming down to touch here as you can see from the diagram and from this point here is coming down to touch here right so I can tick in from here to here and from here to here, right? I'll just take this a little bit in, faint line. Then I'll bring this downward. Right? Then I'll join here to here. Then from here to here. You see that? Then I can also tick in here also. So the next one that's remaining now from that same center line, the thickness from here to here is eight. So I'm going to measure four a piece from this point. Right? So let's do that. Four a piece from the center here is zero. I'll measure four to the right. I'll also measure four to the left. 
and now take it up faint line this way and this way too faint line the height from the from the top now i'll measure 12 downwards then after 12 right so let me measure 12 downwards from the top from zero I measure 12, this is 10, 11, 12 here. Right? The same thing as this one here. And just transfer the point, same level. Or you can just measure 12 downward. Once you measure 12 downward, you will now combine, you will now join this end to this end. Here to here. Also, this end to this end. This is here to here. You can see that. Then measure from that point, which is this point, down by five millimeter, right? So if I measure five millimeter from that point down, from zero to this point is five. And kind of thicken it. And close it. Just close it up. Right, and I can easily do the same thing here, just from here, move this to this level. You can see that. So once you've done that, the next thing you should just do is to take the entire length from this point here. Because it's the same length. You can take the entire length from here to here. Change the same from here to somewhere around here. So this is where I'm going to join this point to this point, right? Then I can easily thicken it. You can see that. Then that point is going to go down, as you can see from the diagram, right? There's still one more thing here at this point. It's going in. It stops here. So this is what we have here. We have successfully reproduced the figure that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen, right? So what you have to do next is just to dimension whatever you see from the diagram, you replicate it here. Is that okay now? So if you have found this video helpful. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also share the video. Thanks for watching.